if I wanted to join the student and the grades table, but now I want to do it and include the student ID as well. So let's see what happens. You can see I put um, I pasted code here, select, I want to do the student ID, not just the student name and the student grade, but I also want to have a student ID. But what happens if I try to do this? I get an error. Column student ID in field list is ambiguous. What does that mean? It actually means that it's ambiguous um, because you don't know which table it, it's in. As we know, the student ID is in both the student table and the grades table. That's why we're being able to match on student ID. So what do we do if we want to also print out the student ID, but we don't, but, but which table it, is it? How does it know which table it's in? Now, obviously we know that it's the same ID, so, but, but um, as a query, we need, to, we need to specify which table this attribute is from because this name exists in multiple tables. Because you can have um, student name, you can have name, you can have things, um, you can have attributes that appear in multiple tables. And therefore, it's important to always specify the, the table name if it's an attribute that's in more than one table. So I'm going to do that. So in this case, I can just do an S. It wouldn't matter since we know they're the same because we're joining it. It doesn't matter whether I do S.StudentID or G.StudentID. Um, but let's hit go. And you can see now that I specified it, I get one Bart Simpson, two, three, and I get their actual ID numbers as well.